black people need to start loving black people again. Yes. We got so much healing to do as a people. We got so much scar tissue, but we so many times go into situations with a whole lot of question marks and very little belief. I got to give my heart, my congratulations, and deepest gratitude to you and all of the others that when you had no reason to believe in anything that I was saying, other than just faith and this deep sense of belonging that we needed our space, mm -hmm. none of this existed and you've been riding with us, but that takes creativity. But I think creativity runs right parallel with faith and belief. Mm -hmm. Your creativity is hampered by your level of belief. But if you believe, oh, the creativity opens up because you honestly see things and see around corners when others can't. Yeah. Um, and if we can take the time to literally in spaces where we can, use our voice or our position, to lift each other up instead of tearing each other down and competing, brother, we have no limits. And that's what I want this space to be. Every time you walk in here, you're like, yo, black man, how that business going? Yes, sir. Yes, Bro, sir. you done yes. made that million dollars yet? Yes, yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, and we track. speak that kind of yes. positivity Absolutely. every day. And you may have a single dollar in your pocket, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but your heart and your belief feels like one day I'll have a million. And in your mind, you know that you will. That's my story. When I first came to this space, I, I saw that entrepreneur, Russell. I knew Russell. I'm like, he's the black man that built the apartments over there in the West End. Because mm -hmm. I, I was more into real estate than I was film at oh, that man. time. Yeah. So I knew who Herman Russell was. Yep. So I said, Russell, that's, I need, I, I'm an entrepreneur. I need this. Yeah. Yeah. So I called Chris, $75 for a background check. I had $80 in my account at mm -hmm. that very moment. I did it. I'm here, you know what I mean? So that's that point and, and, it, and it's fulfilled what I thought it would. The thing the evolution for us, brother, is to take that story and normalize it to the point where the next person that comes behind you has got $80 in their pocket mm -hmm. and it's $75 mm -hmm. to feel confident and vulnerable and know that they got enough sense of belonging and say, family, I ain't got it, mm -hmm. I need your help. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's a whole nother subject. But that's that's yeah. where I want this place to yeah. be because it's not even about the 75. Because my brother needed it. Mm -hmm. If I knew that you only had 80 in your pocket because I've been the guy that had to make the decision between buying some food and keeping enough money with that dude wanted to go to Starbucks and I had to pay for both of us. Know it. And I've been there, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And so what I always want to do when we get to our full steam, there'll always be food here. There'll always be drinks. There'll always be support where literally, if you are that entrepreneur that's struggling, has got to make hard decisions. Yeah. Am I going to feed my kids tonight? Mm -hmm. right. And I want that level of love for our people. Like that level of love where if we need it, we got you. Yes. And we're not going to let you fall. Find them people that refuse to, are, like literally refuse to allow you to fail. But this sure. is the space where you can show up as your true and authentic self. Yes, sir. Whole, perfect and complete flaws and yes, all. Sir. Yes, sir. And say, I don't know, or I need help, or I'm busted right now. And I just need an encouraging word, mm. or I just need to sit in a chair and stare at the wall and be alone. Mm. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than the legacy, it's bigger than the building, because this is about generational plays and entrepreneurs that we'll never meet because our time on this earth will be done. How's fatherhood? Yeah, brother, I mean, that, that, I gotta I gotta hang out with you, man, and go see my little baby I girls. know, I know, I my know. My wife takes me, she's putting them to bed, so my heart is broken. I know. But, I mean, <laughs> that, more than anything, but everything that we're doing here in perspective. Ooh. Yes. So that little yes. girl being able to hold legacy in my hand, this is my first child. Mm -hmm. So to be able to hold legacy in my hand, I thought I knew something, I had no idea. And I didn't know what love was, I didn't know what legacy was. Until I held it in my hand. Until you get to school. That's my my me, first grade. Bro, I can't imagine. When she starts putting a little book bag on. Right. Walking into the it's school. too heavy. She's dragging it. Bro, I ain't ready for it. I'm going to take every second I can with her. And I'm going to enjoy every minute. But yes, that moment where her independence starts to grow. She's making her own decisions. Oh, my Brother, God. that whole piece. You know, it's, it's a different, it's a it's different beautiful. life. I'm a different it's man. It's beautiful. Leadership, Jay. When you hear that word leadership, what... What resonates with you? Humility. Um, I think that most leaders, and I can't really call them leaders, they're doing it for the applause of the crowd. They're not doing it for the crowd, right? And so when you think about leadership, man, I think leadership is, the only way I define leadership is how many people around me are winning. 
And I think that that part is, is where we lose it, that leaders seem to want to stand on the hill, and sometimes you have to, but you literally have to be able to walk down that hill. A beautiful poem, Ev talks about it, you walk with kings, no, but nor lose the common touch. That's my definition of leadership, that you can speak to a CEO, but then I can come over to the hood, go across to the homeless brothers across the street and be the same dude. And I think when you find that level of authenticity, your true perfect swing, that is you and only you, it doesn't change. And you bring your most authentic self to the world because that's what the world is begging for. How do you infuse creativity in leadership? Oh man, leadership is creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is continually thinking about how I can get better, how I can serve more, how I can push harder. And it takes creativity to see, like you said, none of this was here. And when you first started with us, I mean, maybe even before we started the stakeholders, you were walking through the building with us, right? You saw when none of this existed. So the creativity comes with your brother just sitting at one o'clock in the morning on a dusty ass floor and saying, what can we build for our people? and dreaming of what this looks like now, but then you've been with us from the beginning, so my sincere thanks is to you. You roll with us when I was just crazy talking about what we might do. Mm -hmm. And here we are a couple of years later, and we're still just starting. Like, what we're gonna see, bitch, if this was a scale of 20, we're still at two. If you talk about creative, creativity, mm -hmm. I don't care if you're not the best. Mm -hmm. If you're with me and on my team, mm -hmm. and I'm in front of some other people, Mm -hmm. I will always stand behind you and say, you know what? Put him up against anybody you got, and I'm going with him every Put day. Put me of the in week. the front seat with him. Every day of the week, right? Because awesome. we have that kind of confidence and belief. It's like that kid whose parents are always telling them, you can win, you're a champion, yes. you're the greatest. Yes. That kid yes. right next door, same neighborhood, same street, same socioeconomics. But their parents are saying things like, you ain't shit. You ain't never going to be shit. You're just like your uncle. This ain't ever going to work. Same neighborhood, same street, same block, same age. Two different outcomes. And has nothing to do with money. Has nothing to do with anything else other than self confidence, self esteem, okay. and belief. Can we get that kind of culture going every day in this space? And if we do that, bitch, what we teach as far as curriculum and programming does not matter, or it matters very, very little. Very little. So we're going to end with a quick rapid fire uh, Android or iPhone? iPhone. I can't win with these I iPhone. Yeah. Um, Nike or Adidas? Woo! Ah, I got him. Adidas. I'm gonna go throwback on you. Avia or New Balance? New Balance. Slacks or sweats? Sweats. Hoodies or hoodie or button up? Hoodie. This is a trick question. Uh, Alabama or Georgia? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you asked. That was a terrible question. Interviews over. We're out of here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your time, man. Thank you for your time. Holla at you. Look.